What is going on guys, 2.0 here and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at my Iron Banner loot results for this Iron Banner event over on the Warlock. So I actually only had one item drop for me from the end of match reward screen for the Warlock. I got to rank 5 really quickly, this is my second character getting to rank 5 so it was pretty quick. But unfortunately we still only had one item drop from our end of match reward. So we will take a look at that in this video. We'll also open our rank 3 and our rank 5 package. But first let's take a quick look at what I've been using. So I'm obviously on my Warlock and I have been using Voidwalker. Nova Bombs are really fun for me in Crucible. I love throwing them on the B flag because it is Iron Banner control. So throwing a Nova Bomb on the B flag is extremely fun, especially whenever you see the kills mount up. And then that is why I have the Nothing Manacles on, so that we have an additional Scatter Grenade, and they have Scatter Grenade tracking as well. So really, really fun build to use if you have the Nothing Manacles. Very fun to use a Void Walker with these Gauntlets. But for the primary, I have been using the Hack and Hatchet. I was using the Hawksaw over on my Hunter, but I did decide to go back and use the Hack and Hatchet as it is an extremely good weapon to have. And then for my special, I have the Party Crusher Shotgun. Again, I showed this in the Hunter's video. Uh, I also have the LDR as well, but primarily I have been using a shotgun over on my Warlock as opposed to when I was on my Hunter, I was sniping for most of the time. So mixed it up again, used my shotgun over on the Warlock and then keeping it the same as the Hunter, I used the Zombie Apocalypse machine gun for my Heavy. It's so good and it dropped with very good upgrades as well, Rangefinder as well as life support. So extremely good build in my opinion there. I really, really do have a lot of fun whenever I run Crucible on the Warlock. I need to do it more often even when it's not Iron Banner because Nova Bombs, Scatter Grenades uh, are extremely fun in my opinion whenever I play in the Crucible. But the only item that I had dropped for me from the end of match rewards was a set of gauntlets. Now they were at 335, which is brilliant because I do need some more 335 gauntlets for infusion fuel. And that is exactly what these are going to be used for because they drop with discipline and strength, 57 and 55. So I would prefer intellect and discipline for a warlock build. And the upgrades these came with increased grenade throw distance as well as increased realist speed of sidearm. So pretty bad stats and pretty bad upgrades means these 335 gauntlets are going to be used for infusion fuel. Not entirely sure what I'll put them into yet, but I am fairly low on infusion fuel for gauntlets. So either way, that is really nice that we got those. Bit disappointing that we only had one item drop from the match rewards, uh, but at least it was at 335 and it was an item that we will be making use of. So apart from that, all we can really do is take a look at what we're going to get from our rank 3 and rank 5 packages. So uh, Lord Saladin, I'm not really sure if I want to buy any of these pulse rifle on this chest piece. We've got sniper, so yeah, I'm not going to be picking those up. Uh, these gauntlets, I mean, I always use my nothing manacles, so I'm not really going to bother picking up any gauntlets. I do have both of the set of gauntlets from last time that Lord Saladin brought them. Uh, the fusion rifle and the sidearm, not really too interested in. The fusion rifle has very nice upgrades, but I will buy that at the end of the Iron Banner if we don't get one drop. We might still get a fusion rifle drop on our Titan. So let's take a look at what we're going to get from these packages. So we got the Nerwin's Mercy again. We got that from a rank 5 package on the Hunter, and then from the rank 3 we are going to get the Artifact. So let's take a quick look. Uh, the Artifact, we can just go ahead and get rid of that. And then we got the Ghost Shell, which is at 320, 32 Intellect, 30 Discipline. Intellect and Discipline build, that's decent. Uh, and it detects and marks nearby Spirit Blooms and generates additional Glimmer, killing Titans in the Crucible. I might, I don't know, uh, what's this at? So 23 as opposed to 32. Um, yeah, I probably just prefer to run my Consume Shell, to be honest. I'll keep that just in case, soon as though it does have Intellect and Discipline. But I'm just going to stick with the Consume Shell at the moment. And then hopefully this Nerwin's Mercy has dropped with better upgrades than the one that we got on the Hunter. So this time we have Kills the Weapon, Reduce Cooldown of Your Grenade. That's exactly what I got over on the Hunter. And the Weapon gains bonus damage when three or more enemies are in close proximity. We also got Hand Loaded, Feather Mag and Small Bore. This is terrible. I am not going to be making any use of this weapon. I mean, it is 335, so the only use I can put it to is for infusion fuel. But the upgrades that we got on that are absolutely terrible. No way I'm going to be using that. The one we got from our rank 5 package on the Hunter is way better, and I have an even better one than that stored in my vault at the moment. So the only thing that's going to be used for is infusion fuel. So out of all of that, getting to rank 5 on our Warlock, all we got was some 335 gauntlets for infusion fuel and a 335 primary. So we literally only got two things worth keeping 
Uh, but I suppose we leveled up our crucible and had a few things from that. But that is going to bring us to the end of the video, guys. Let me know down below in the comments what you got from your rank 5 packages this time around. Hopefully yours went a lot better than mine because mine was probably the worst one that I have ever had from a rank 5 Iron Banner package. But yeah, guys, that's going to bring us to the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like because it really does help me out. Subscribe if you're new around here as Dirt Load daily Destiny videos. And as always, thanks for watching and I will see you guys on the next one.